DC are launching a new streaming service that is set to feature most of DC's back catalogue of TV series and movies, and this video is going to go over what we know so far. Let's start with what we all want to know, when will it actually be out? Well, no one knows the exact date the site will be available, but we know it will be in 2018 and it will be by October at the earliest. This was confirmed by Greg Wiseman on Twitter, where he said that he didn't know when the third season of Young Justice would be out on the site, but he's been told it would be in the fourth quarter of 2018, which means October at the earliest and December at the latest of 2018, of course. Though I do have to say, of course, this is subject to change as DC could change their minds about it. But so far, that's the time frame that we have. Next, there's the question of what will be on the DC streaming service. The new content that will be on there is the live action TV series Titans, the third season of the animated show Young Justice, and the new animated Harley Quinn series will be on there, with 26 episodes featuring Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. For more information on that show, there is a link in this video's description. And as for the back catalogue, anything from the 1960s DC shows to the very newest DC shows are up for grabs, but that may not include the Arrowverse. In 2016, Netflix signed a multi-year contract with CW to be the exclusive US subscription television service for the previous seasons of the Arrowverse shows, which means Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and also Black Lightning, which may or may not actually be part of the Arrowverse, we'll see as soon as the show goes on, but is still part of this contract. Now, when this contract ends is not public knowledge, at least as far as I've been able to find out, but until it expires, don't expect to see the Arrowverse on the DC streaming service. And the final big question is, how much is it going to cost? Well, no amount has been officially released yet, but they're probably aiming to eventually charge as much as Netflix does for its plans. So if you look at the Netflix subscription prices, that's probably what we'll eventually have to pay. But to begin with, they will of course have introductory prices, which will be a little bit cheaper than this, as it's new and obviously doesn't have as big a back catalogue as Netflix does. And that is all that we really know about the site so far. I'll be making new videos with new updates as we get nearer to the site's launch, but if any new information does come out, feel free to drop a link to it in the comments, along with what shows and movies you want to see on the site. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated movies. If you would like to donate or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.